In the previous presentation, we looked at a particular entry where we paid wages of $500, and we to enter that, we did a debit to wages of $500 and a credit to cash at bank at $500. So the question is, well, why was the debit to wages and the credit to cash at bank? And to answer that question, we're going to have to know the rules of debits and credits. So the first part to determine whether something is going to be a debit or a credit is to firstly classify the type of account it's going to affect. Is it going to be an asset, liability, owner's equity, revenue or expense? And secondly, whether it's going to make the account in question go up or down in value. So based on that, we could then have the following rules. For assets, they go up on the debit side and decrease on the credit side. Liabilities will have the opposite effect. They'll actually go up on the credit side and decrease on the debits and so will owner's equity. So you can see this mirrors the uh, accounting equation which is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity and it makes sense that the rules for assets are completely opposite to those for liabilities and owner's equity. Let's learn by processing some transactions. The owner contributed $25,000 to commence the business. We've got cash which is an asset and it's increasing. The rules state that assets increase on the debit side. We've then got capital, which is an owner's equity account, and it's also increasing. And the rule states that a owner's equity account increases on the credit side, and we've got our debits matching our credits. We'll now go and post these to the ledgers. So we'll go and do a debit to cash and a credit to capital. And then it's important to get the referencing right. So the first reference will be capital. In cash at bank, we're going to need to write capital because that's where we'll find the matching entry. In the capital ledger, we'll need to go and write cash at bank because that's where we'll find the matching debit to that entry. The second transaction, the business took out a loan for $10,000. We've got cash, which is an asset going up because the business has more money, and that's a debit. However, we've got a loan, which is a liability increasing, and we're going to be obligated to pay the bank back, so that's going to increase our liabilities, which goes up on the credit side. Posting that ledger, we're going to do a debit to cash and a credit to loan, and we'll get our referencing correct. So we'll write in the cash at bank ledger, our reference will be loan, and in loan, our reference will be cash at bank. Third transaction, purchased a computer for $3,000 cash plus GST. So I've got a computer, which is an asset increasing. It'll be a debit. We've paid GST, so the GST liability will decrease when we pay it. So that'll be a debit. And lastly, cash, which is an asset, is going to decrease. Assets decrease on the credit side. So this time we've got two debits making up one credit. And it doesn't matter as long as there's at least one debit and one credit. There can be more than two or three or four or five uh, entries. So we'll post that now. We'll do a debit to computers. We'll do a debit to GST liability and a credit to cash at bank. With the referencing in computers and GST, we'll write cash at bank. And cash at bank is slightly different. We're going to have to do a double reference here because the credit of 3300 is actually made up of two ledgers. There's 3000 in the uh, computer ledger and 300 in the GST ledger. Next transaction made a loan repayment of $4,000. So loan, which is a liability, is going to decrease. When a liability decreases, that's got to be a debit. Then we've got cash, which is an asset. That's decreasing and assets decrease on the credit side. Posting these ledgers, I'm going to go to loan and make a debit and cash uh, and make a credit in that and then get our referencing right. So cash at bank for loan and in the cash at bank ledger, we'll write our reference as loan. Bought stock for $600 cash plus $500 GST. I've got stock, which is an asset increasing. That's got to be a debit. I've got GST liability. Uh, now, I'm the one that's being charged the GST, so when I get charged it or pay it, it decreases my liability, and liabilities decrease on the debit side. And then I've got less cash, which is an asset, and that's going to decrease, and assets decrease on the credit side. I'm going to post that. We've got a debit to stock, a debit to GST, and a credit to cash at bank. Simple referencing for stock and GST, we're just going to write cash. But for cash, again, we've got a double reference because the credit is actually made up on, uh, of two entries in stock and GST. Lastly, the owner contributed $800 to the business. So the business has more cash, which is an asset, and that's a debit. And it also has more capital, which is an owner's equity account increasing, and that goes on the credit side. Post in the ledger, debit to cash, credit to capital, 
and some straightforward, uh, straightforward uh, referencing there. We'll write capital in the cash ledger and cash it back in the capital ledger.